Here is another section of a brain. Notice it's not as pink as it usually is because it's not stained with eosin and hematoxylin in, in the usual way. They kind of uh, let back heavily on the eosin and instead they used another stain. Notice also that in this brain, you could see uh, increased numbers of inflammatory cells, uh, not only uh, around the blood vessels in the brain, but in the meninges as well. So this is a true meningoencephalitis. Notice that you could see a nuclei of cells within the brain substance nicely, but notice that the cytoplasm appears washed out because instead of eosin, uh, they used another stain again called PAS, which loves to go to fungus. It not only goes to fungus hyphae, like we saw with the mucormycosis case, but it also stains fungal yeast forms. And look at all these little yeasts taking up the PAS stain. Some of them have little buds. Do you see that? Do you see that? Some of them don't have buds. They appear to generally be around blood vessels. They also appear to uh, diffusely, as well as focally, involve these meninges as well. This is a yeast that's infecting extensively the uh, meninges and brain substance. The most common yeast form fungus to infect the brain is cryptococcus, especially in patients that are immunosuppressed, including people that are on chemotherapy. This is cryptococcal meningoencephalitis. And it's really too bad, or maybe it's not too bad, but in this case, we're making the diagnosis obviously from the autopsy. But when these patients come in and they're sick, you know, they may be curable because if you do a lumbar puncture, you know, which is would be very rich in these little organisms, and then you put them into a regular old saline solution that has India ink on it, these little yeast forms produce a big white zone uh, within the middle of the India ink, and they have a characteristic appearance, even if they have a bud. So an India ink uh, prep for a lumbar puncture is a absolute necessity to do in anybody that comes in with a, a meningitis or a meningoencephalitis type of a picture. Uh, thank you very much.